Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. If you're here, I'm about to start on seven. Today's video, we are back in the Minecraft 15 year anniversary kind of map. And uh, we're gonna do the exploration kind of dimension today. I thought I might as well do all of it, even though it's kind of past Minecraft 15 anniversary, but you know, explore the map, whatever, see what's here. It is an interesting map. Now this one in particular is pretty long. It is three pages of stickers and this one has three that has five and the first one has five so this is all about um biome discovery and stuff like that so let's go straight in because i'm assuming this one is gonna take a while so let's go in also i've been a little weird with the posting schedule i'm gonna try and be a little more consistent but ooh. That's actually cool. Um, I'm gonna try and be a little more consistent, but I'm just gonna post anytime throughout the week. I will try and post on Saturday mainly, but if I end up posting on a different day, I think it's fine. And we got like two little, uh, three actually, little areas here. So we have a desert temple here. A desert temple. It missed the dunes of the desert biome. The desert temple made its debut August 1st, 2012 in the 1.3 update. Made up of 3,078 sandstone blocks. Other temples are the largest structure in the desert biome. Often covered in sand, its size is concealed beneath the surface. Under what appears to be an ordinate floor pattern hides narrow chamber brimming with treasure. These narrow chambers are best explored alone. One faulty step and you'll be entombled right beside the hidden treasure nice okay let me see Ooh. did they like upgrade it or something it looks, it looks better right here actually they should make all those temples look like this the creeper face it's like an entrance Ooh. okay so we oh so we gotta explore the different okay i see what's going on all right so now we're in the desert temple it's bigger on the inside and there's a game is there a game for each one this is gonna take a while um all right i do want to quickly go back up here start looking for some stickers that's probably why there's three pages yeah this first one's probably for the desert biome so let's go let's read up on some of the stuff here we have the pots which they just added uh decorated pots crafted from pottery shards or bricks decorated pots are a great way to spruce up your interior design did you know there are a total of 194 194,481 unique decorated pots that can be crafted. Each of the four slots used to craft decorated pots consists of any one of 20 pottery shards in addition to the brick. Nice. There's also more over here. Does this read the same thing? Uh, yeah, okay. So those are all the same things. Just kind of showing off the different designs, which is very nice. Now, before we do the game, let's go over here to this section. Any stickers? I may, I may have missed one. Uh, what's this? Nighttime toggled. Oh! Open the sticker book to see what's inside. Nice! Okay, I got a camel. Okay. Sweet. And let's do that. So we got our first sticker. So we have the husks, I believe they're called, and the camel over there. Let's read on the husks first. Right there, husk, right? Yeah. Meet the husk, a sunproof zombie that won't burn in daylight. If that wasn't bad enough, you may one day stumble across a rare sighting, a baby husk riding an adult husk. It's like a piggyback ride, but with more bite. Don't let their size fool you. These little riders mean big trouble. Yeah, we know. <laughs> Any small zombie it means big trouble. All right, and the camels meet the camel minecraft's two-seater ride Standing at standing tall at three blocks tall the camel keeps players high above the reach of melee mobs and can step over fences just, Like they're just lines in the sand With a jump that turns any obstacle into mere stepping stones every ride is a humpback leap into adventure hop on There's room for two. These were like added recently though, right? It wasn't like they were added a long time ago uh Okay. Ooh, we got like a statue of like a camel, llama, horse, donkey. Ooh, there's like a telescope here. Find the watering trader and his llamas. I think I found one. Ooh, okay, hold on, maybe. Oh. Hold on, how do I stop? Let me zoom in. Yes, I know I already found this llama, but I see another one up there. Oh, found the wandering trader. Dang it, why can't I go? I can't look up anymore. Why can't I look up? There we go. There we go. Now it's letting me. Okay, so now, oh, how do I leave this? Um, hello? Oh, there we go. I just jump out of it. Uh, all right, that's pretty cool. And we have, what is this? A mesa biome. The mesa biome dazzles it within it. 
Oh my god, I can't read. The Mesa biome dazzles with its layers of colorful clay, standing out as a favorite for travelers. Its large cliffs and valleys offer a wide array of building materials for the color-loving clay enthusiasts. It is also a great location to stock up on cacti. Nice. Okay, and what's over here? I believe this is the savanna biome. I don't think you're a wandering trader. Oh, found one though. Maybe if I complete this one too, I'll get the sticker. Oh. Do I have to find them in order or something? There we go. Probably do because it's not letting me look at the other one. There we go. Nice. White llama. Yes. Okay. Uh, let me just jump. There we go. So now we have two stickers in our... Oh, it's not even on that page. Where is it? Oh, it's right there. Nice. Oh, it looks like that's a traveling trader, I believe. And that's another llama. So I wonder how we get those. Uh, well, all right, let's read up on the savanna biome. With its spawning, with its sprawling grasslands and acacia trees, bask in the savanna's endless sunshine. And despite the arid climate, the savanna is home to a plethora of species, including unique armor-wearing critter, a mass, a master at rolling into a ball for protection. Oh, it's talking about the um, the new armadillo. See, I wouldn't know anything about the armadillo because I still haven't updated my Minecraft. Uh, I'm still stuck on 1.19. Because a couple mods will not update themselves, so... Oh, there's two games? Oh, I don't know if we can do all of them. Maybe we'll pick one. Because... Wait, this may have to be like a two-parter. I just wanted to do one part for each one. Okay, brown mushroom. The key ingredient into a yummy soup. Mushrooms thrive in the dark and can be grown practically anywhere devoid of light. They can even be found growing outside the confines of the nether ceiling. Okay, and then we have red mushrooms here. Red mushroom. Thriving in dim conditions, red mushrooms can sprout up in unexpected places. Use bone meal on a mushroom to turn these tiny fungi into large tree-like structures, offering you shelter and effective mulch for your composter. Okay. But what is this game? I don't want to start it. Okay, let's let's see what the games are. Find all 15 mushrooms and transform them to the correct type with the zap of lightning. Bounce on the red mushrooms to reach new heights and harness the power of lightning rod to complete you know what we're gonna play both whatever hopefully it's quick <laughs> this may have to be a two-parter so bounce on the giant red mushrooms i have to turn the mushrooms back into buy and convert all 15 mushrooms okay so yeah the brown mushrooms have to be converted to red mushrooms get up here how do i get up there though right here i think so bam okay that took me way too long because i couldn't find the last one but i think we're good so yeah no i think the game yeah that's terrible we don't talk about that sticker collected nice all right let's look at the sticker i got where is it right there nice oh wait what's this wait hold on the game's here but this was not snowy before And the ice, the ground is slick. Um, did I end up in the wrong section? No, it threw me out somewhere else. Okay. Uh, so we have a polar bear here. Polar bears, a cozy duo in the snow. A polar bear and its cub cuddle up, blending warmth with the icy landscape. Their warm bond barely lets the cold in. Melting hearts with every shared step, but beware gets you close to the cub and you will feel the wrath of the mama bear. Yeah, seems right. <laughs> uh, we have, oh, we have the killer bunnies over here. Regular rabbit. These happy little explorers come from various colors, blending into different biomes from the desert to snowy tundra. Rabbits add life wherever they go. Whether you're farming carrots or exploring a new biome, these furry friends are a delightful sight. All right, we got like an igloo here as well. Uh, can I go in the igloo? I can. There's probably a sticker down here. Is there? Yes, there is. We got a zombie villager. Where does that go in the sticker book? All right, on that page. That's cool. Anything in the chest? No. Okay. Uh, bring stand. Okay, I don't think we got any secret stickers down here. Uh, oh, let me get up. There we go. 
And we got oh another telescope thing here. Find a watering stranger and his llamas. I said snowman, I believe. Oh, found one llama. All right. Oh, I have to like. Okay, there we go. Wandering trader. And where's the third one? Oh, right there. Nice. So I probably have to do this all in different areas, and that's how I get the other stickers. Okay, and let's. Oh, you can get rid of his head. Oh, and we got another sticker. Damn, we are collecting stickers very fast. We all got whole page completed. Uh, we also have another area here. Let's do this real quick. Uh, find a watering trader and his llamas. Hold on. There we go. I have to like get in the exact right spot to look at them. Uh, before the wandering trader was in the ice. Maybe they're in the ice again. Hold on. I see a polar bear here. I see that llama, but I don't see anything else. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Huh, huh. There we go. Kept sticking his hat on the snow. That's why I couldn't see him. Oh, up there. There we go. Yes, so we got to the brown llama. All right. Uh, I read up on these dudes already, right? No, I did not. Okay, we're on the other side. Um, all right, astray. Bundle up, brave souls. The icy wilderness of Minecraft. Even the skeletons have a bone to pick exclusive to cold biomes. Astray shoots arrows of slowness, making every encounter a frosty challenge. Wrapped in tattered rags and aiming with frozen precision, they're a reminder that the snow at every step could be cold surprise. All right, we've got a fox here, snow fox. Catch a snow fox fast asleep in the snow, taking a cozy nap under the chilly sky. Even these playful spirits need their rest. Snug as a bug in the chilly rug. Shh, let's tread quietly. It's too cute to disturb their peaceful slumber. They are cute, I will say that. Uh, oh, we got more bunnies. A toast rabbit. Say hello to toast. Minecraft's secret rabbit. A heartwarming homage to beloved pet. Grab a name tag and in bunny toast to see the... Dawn, the distinctive black and white fur. This adorable Easter egg is sure to make you happy as it serves as a touching tribute to cherished companion. It is very lovely. Wait, oh, now we have the killer rabbit. Watch your carrots and mind your step. Veteran Java players know that in the world of Minecraft, even the bunnies have a killer instinct. They may seem like harmless creatures with their adorable twitching noses and floppy ears, but that cute exterior only hides a ferocious nature. All right. Oh, and they added Sniffer here with the cherry biome. Okay, so this is the next game. Sniff and Sneak. Okay, saddle up on your Sniffer companion and forage for seeds in cherry blossom biome with the Sniffer's nose leading the way. Bury your head in the leaves to score points. Is it going to be like that one nether one that I did? Oh, hello, Sniffer. Oh, I'm riding on a Sniffer. Okay. Here, do I just like... How do I... Oh, like this? To score points. Nice. Okay, okay. Let's go back here. Time's up. 140 points. Nice. Okay, well, we've got these sniffer sticker. And oh, we were thrown out somewhere else. Okay, we almost got this page complete. I wonder what's there. We need the wandering villager for there. What I don't know is what goes here. We have all these different ones missing. And we've got one missing there, one missing there. So I'm not sure. Maybe we'll find it here. But we have the cherry blossom biome. Which I absolutely love the cherry blossom biome because... It's very pretty. It's one of my favorites. The color of the pink wood is astonishing. Ooh, but we got some other stuff here. All right, we got horse armor. In the early days of Minecraft, horses were noble companions aiding players in their travels. It wasn't until the introduction of horse armor that these majestic seeds could truly shine. Quite literally, horse armor is used to be used to be incredibly rare, only being found in dungeons and temples, but now it can be crafted from materials ranging from iron to diamond. Wait, it can be crafted? Is that, like, not a feature in Java? I swear they couldn't have been crafted before. Is that is this a new 1.20 update? Oh my god, did they add crafting horse armor? That's weird. Uh, Slime, sponsored to the whimsical realm of Minecraft's gel genitalius. I, I, I can't read that. 
I, I think I'm reading it wrong, but whatever. Anyways, creatures, otherwise known as slime, famous for their hoppy behavior and their striking green color. They really know how to gel with the environment. Fun fact, the bigger the slime, the more it splits when defeated, turning one big bounce into many little leaps. All right. Oh, we got one right here. All right. Oh, we got the first llama right there. There we go. Oh, I see the wandering trader right there. And where is the last llama? Right there. Perfect. All right, so we've done that one. Let's look over here. I think this one's talking about witches. Witches, bastard of potions and hiding in the dark. These mysterious figures are often found lurking within swampy forests. They wield potent potions and arcane spells. But who are they and what drives their career's craft? Who knows? Maybe you will one you'll be the one to discover their true motives. Ooh, okay. And we got leather horse armor and iron horse armor as well. We got some bunnies. Oh, uh, real quick before I read these. Actually, they, oh yeah, they have a bunch of stuff to read. You know, let's read these first then. Uh, we've got the wolves. Okay, wolves are Minecraft's oldest and most loyal companions, being the first tame able mob introduced back in the beta version 1.4. On March 31st, 2011, they will accompany you on your wireless adventures and idly rest by the fire in your home base, forging an unbreakable bond. Go check up on your buddy from time to time. They'll always be waiting for you when you log back into your world, ever faithful and ready for the next big adventure together. Very true, they are always waiting for you. Oh, the game's right here, okay. Um, archaeology, where history hides beneath your feet, unearth the secrets from the past, and discover buried treasure chests filled with rare artifacts and valuable loot. Who knows what you might find? Maybe a blockbuster relic or a piece of historical pottery. Grab your brush and let's get digging. All right, now let's read this one over here, and we'll go to the telescope to get our next sticker. Foxes. Minecraft foxes have a habit of borrowing items they find laying around, such as shiny objects and even weapons. Keep an eye out for your belongings when traveling... When traversing the forest with these crafty critters. They do steal stuff. They've stolen a lot of my food before. Uh, Alright, so let's see. Let's see. Oh, first llama right there. Okay. Oh, cute little wolf, though. Uh, oh, second llama right there. And now we just need to find the traveling trader. Uh, oh, I think I see him in the trees. There he is. Alright. Perfect. We got the traveling trader sticker. So now we're missing one here and four more on that page. So let's do the game. I'm sure I'm gonna get a sticker for the game, but I wonder where the other four are missing is. Oh, I'm thrilled you stumbled upon it. Care to care to try your hand at uncover and to seek out fate marks on the ground and use a brush to start swiping. Who knows? Okay. Um, where do I get the brush though? Like, how do I start? Um. Do I just walk in? Oh, I do. Okay. So... What am I looking for exactly? Is it this? No, that's not it. Uh... Hmm. Oh. There we go. Let's dig this ad. Oh, what did I get? Oh, I'm getting stained glass. Okay, so we're looking for those marks on the ground. Here's two more. There we go. They had a dead bush, it looks like. And what else? Can't really make it out. Oh, and a brick. Uh, oh, we got one right here. Um, is that like another ingot or something? Well, I don't know. Oh, sticker collected brush. Okay, is that all of them then? Uh, oh. Well, there's one more here. Oh, I got a candle. Okay, oh, and there's one here. Oh, there's two here, actually. Wait, did I not already get these? Or can I just keep digging them over and over again? Maybe I get a sticker from this. Who knows? Uh, or is that it? I think that's it. I don't think they respawn. Yeah, no, okay. Uh, all right, well, I found everything. Well, that's cool. I could, could I have gone up? I don't think I could have. Uh, well, I did that. Now, how do I get out of here? Because each of the games kind of just led me to a different area. So I'm wondering how I'm supposed to leave. Oh wait, is it through here? Oh, there's more. Damn, there's a lot. That's probably why I'm missing stickers. Okay, we have parrots. You know, I don't think we have time to read all these. We all know what parrots are like. They sing with a jukebox. Like that. Or not sing, they dance. We have ocelots here. Oh. 
I'm glad I did that. I got the parrot sticker. Okay, let's see how many stickers I'm missing now. Uh, let's go over here. Okay, so we got these two pages full. Now we need three more stickers for this page. So let's, we also have the ocelots here. Ocelots, oh, that's long. Um, but they were introduced very early. I know they were basically the cats before cats. Ooh, temple dash. Retrieve the wild armor trim smithing template from the jungle temple. Okay, um... Wait, it says game over there, but then we have that over there. Is there more to explore after this? Oh my god. Well, we got armor trims here, which we were just added. Um, and there's, like, like, it says right there, lots of different variations. But if we read all those, we will never leave. Uh, also, what can I... Oh, I have to get it there. Okay. Let's do this real quick then. Temple dash. Oh, I've got some armor on too. Nice. Welcome to the jungle. All right. Defeat monsters. And avoid traps. Okay, let's go. Oh, that is not enough time. Well, let me shoot this guy from over here. That way I stop getting a hit. There we go. Oh, there's even more. My God, there's a lot. There we go. Oh! There we go. Ow. Another golden apple here. Ow! There we go. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, hold on. Am I just killing them? Because I have to find this thing, right? I think I'm actually making my way towards it now. Oh, I see it right there. Yay, I got it! Do I get a sticker now? Give me a sticker, give me a sticker. Hope I got a sticker from that. I literally spent a lot of time doing that. So I think template retrieved. Alright. There we go, a golden apple sticker. Nice. So now we're missing two more. I'm pretty sure, right? Because we got all these. Yep. Um, What I want to know is what's next? I think I, think I have to go over here. Jungle biome. Oh, okay. So this would be like learning about the jungle biome or whatever. Uh, we gotta do this quick though. I don't even know how long I've been recording for. Probably like half an hour at this point. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna follow the path it's telling me to go on. Oh, I see a sticker right there. Bam. Nice. We got the jungle temple sticker. And now, I believe we're just missing one, which looks. I mean, I can't really make out what it is, so. Uh, oh wait, can I jump over to Steve? I don't think I can. Yeah, no, I think I just have to go down here. Oh, I almost fell. Okay, ooh, we got like this cool thing right here with the horse. Okay, we got, oh, we got jungle temples right here. And when they were added, added in 2012, 1.3 update. Uh, like I said, this is really long, so. <sighs> Let's keep on going. That's the exit right there. We have another game. Oh wait, no, we're back in the, we're back in the middle. Oh, we're back in the middle. 
Did I ever read on the pandas? I don't think I did. Oh, this is why I'm missing a sticker. Thank. See the llama, but it's not letting me zoom in. There we go. Okay, well, I'm missing a sticker and I don't know from where. So I'm thinking it's one of these because I didn't see this before. Maybe, maybe I have to like zoom into something else. All right, let's let's uh, let's end the video off right here. It's a very long one, but we explore all different things that Minecraft has added, whether it's recently or very, very back when, like the Nether Temple, for example, is pretty old. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will be recording a Utopia Valley video soon. I have a building like built. I just need to get bricks for it and bricks take a long time to get because you don't get many bricks out of clay. So I have to go on and collect a bunch more. And I'm going to do that probably as the next video. Maybe not, but I'm hoping to post it soon. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I want to do hit the notification bell and click all. That way, we'll post this video on the channel. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I will see you all in the next one.